Happy Saturday, everyone. It's not easy to understand suffering. I am Sister Rosalie, inviting you to understand it better with God's grace through the gospel power of today. One Sabbath, while Jesus was going through the grain fields, His disciples plucked some heads of grain, rubbed them in their hands, and ate them. But some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? Jesus answered, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and took and ate the bread of the presence which it is not lawful for any but the priests to eat, and gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. As Jesus' opponents continued to watch his disciples, hoping to catch them in a serious misdemino that can implicate their teacher. They discovered the usefulness of the Sabbath for their wicked purposes. Jesus interprets the Sabbath with the freedom that flows from genuine love. Being the son of the Creator who instituted the Sabbath, Jesus knows that this law is in view of the welfare of his father's creatures and must not be interpreted in a way that subordinates and ignores that welfare. Jesus' opponents, seeing his relaxed attitude toward the Sabbath, suppose that with a little technical manipulation of the Sabbath restrictions, they can make Jesus appear as a violator of the Sabbath. This scheming of religious leaders shows that even the holiest of days can be turned into an instrument of evil. The problem is not with the Sabbath law, but with the heart of the person who interprets it. It is the heart that must be put in the right place by aligning it with God's purposes in any age and place. This non-alignment with God's purposes is really the reason why the powerful can manipulate laws to serve their own interests. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, deliver us from scheming lawmakers and law enforcers who twist and turn laws to serve their interests at the expense of the common good. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever.